few powder no-nos. Um, it doesn't matter if you're 16 or 66, you really want to try to stay away from adding too much powder right around the eye area um, and the, the mouth area. Um, usually powder tends to settle into fine lines and it will just look dry or cakey. Um, another no-no is to pick a shade that will just not match. Try to pick a product that is as translucent as possible so you can use it throughout the season um, without fearing that your powder will make you look either too chalky or too tan or too orangey. Any of that we don't really want. Every time you use powder, you really want to make sure that you tap off any excess powder onto the side of your container and then just lightly dust the T-zone and maybe a little bit on the sides of the face. As a makeup artist, I have had bad experiences, um, especially in the beginning of my career, where I would use powder and it would actually end up flaking onto the client's wardrobe. That is really a no-no, especially if they don't have anything else to wear on set. So either you buy a cape that you can actually buy in most beauty supply stores, um, or you can actually just use a Kleenex and um, stick the edges into the wardrobe just like that. I'll call it the poor man's cape. Voila. And it's actually quite comfortable. Synthetic capes can often feel a little bit hot after a while. And there you go. Perfect.